the garden area to me is a place of calm and peace and loveliness. Um, it also, when you're outside, I think you're closer to God and I think you just look around and think, this is what I'm thankful for. This is a good place to be. It's not, it's not harmed by anything, it is it. but it's, um, it's, it's a wonderful place to be. Well, I got into gardening um, kind of late, like a lot of people, but it's kind of a fun hobby for people who um, are not out biking or um, running laps or doing something like that. So I went out to, when we moved out to where we live now, there is a lot of space out there and I thought I need to fill it up because I hate empty holes. So I started putting a couple of things here and a couple of plants there and I have no knowledge. I just do it by trial and error like I do most things. And now I have pretty much filled up our entire acre out there with um, not very many holes of flowers and bushes and trees and you know I've learned by trial and error just like I said. Well the garden area was developed over many years. We, we had a lot of people suggest ideas for how to improve this area. The uh, grass was just one of those things that grass is a good base to start with but did we want flowers? Did we want just shrubs? Um, one of the original plans for all white flowers out here. And we had the horn beams put in to help do the uh, backdrop and hide the building across the street. And that was the reason why the horn beams got put in here. Uh, we do take the berries and the holly branches to decorate the church at Christmas time. So the garden has many uses beyond just being a lovely place to come out and sit. Our brides quite often come out here to have pictures taken. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other things. Uh, the hostas, all that we have out here, came from Sa um, was it Sally? Sally, Williams. Sally Williams, divided her hostas and donated those to the garden. Uh, we did have Wickmans come in last year or two years ago last year. to do a remodeling and freshen up the garden. Um, that was one of our projects that we did our fall party to raise the funds to do that. And I think Wickmans did a wonderful job. Uh, we've put the landscaping in. We've had a couple of professional gardeners come in to help mow it. Since I'm not going to be out there mowing these days. <laughs> Over the years, things have changed, so we have more color out here now. We do have some white flowers. Um, one of the things that we did do is institute the bulbs at Saint, All Saints Day to remind people of their loved ones. So when the bulbs come up in spring, they have the remembrance of their loved ones and the resurrection to come. We um, created the, cart, the garden party, the Garden Guild did, um, to help raise funds so we could continue to keep the um, garden area at church here up, up, keep it up and make it look pretty all the time. And so we had a wonderful event where we um, provided food and we provided drinks and we provided um, wine glasses that you could buy with your ticket and we had an auction um, of about I don't know, 10 or 12 or 15 um, artists from around, many of them from our church, and they um, donated their gifts, and we had people come and buy them, and that money all went back into the Garden Guild, and it was a very successful event, and, um, you know, we hope to have another event like that. I think that was our second one, really, but the garden party last year was wonderful, and um, the flowers that, you know, we have out here and all the stuff, the benches that we're going to buy, and a couple more things, a sod, all that was provided really with help from that money to um, raise, that we raise each time we do an event to help um, keep our garden looking beautiful. We had new sprinklers put in and we had everything in here and the sun and the wind and a little bit of Jesus out here and I think it, it all has worked together to create a very special event here. So um, I like to flower anywhere I go and I pull weeds anywhere I see them. <laughs>